सो ओके टुडे सब्जेक्ट इज जीटीजी जीटीजी सो जीटीजी मींस एवरीवन नोस गैस टरबाइन जनरेटर Normally three types of power are available. One is active power, active power. Normally power three types. Okay, active power, <coughs> active power. Number two, reactive power, reactive power. And number three, apparent power. Yes. Normally, power three types of power. One is called active power. Another is reactive power. Third number is apparent power. But what is active power? Which power is real, actual power? It is called active power. Okay. Which power is real, actual? Which are directly using this uh, equipment for running the equipment? It is called active power. Units of active power. Units of active power watt, kilowatt, and megawatt. Okay. Now our active power GTG you can see GTG is 13.6. It is active power. So what is reactive power? Reactive power actually it is useless power, but it is important for equipment. Okay. So reactive power units of reactive power, units of reactive power, volt, ampere, reactive. Kilo volt ampere reactive and mega volt ampere reactive. So normally our GTG all our mega system. So we will discuss only mega watt, mega volt ampere reactive. Okay. Another is apparent power. So what is apparent power? Our summation of active power and reactive power. It is called apparent power. Understand? Active plus reactive. Yes, both call apparent power. Unit of apparent power we are calling volt ampere, kilo volt ampere, and mega volt ampere. Okay, up to this clear? Okay, so now I will give one easy example for understanding this active power, reactive power, and mega apparent power. I will give one easy example. You think? You think it is a one one type of cup, one type of glass. Yes. Okay. Okay. You think it is one type of glass. If you put some coca on this glass, what will happen? Up to this actual coca, but after this, like this, this one uh, foamy. If you put some coca on the glass, that time what is happening? Which one is real or actual coca? It is called active power. Understand or not? Yes. So active power we are calling mega watt. So up to this around seventy percent it is active power. But the reactive power which are not using but required for equipment it is reactive power. So this foam one time it will come down. Okay. So this these are the reactive power. Mega volt ampere reactive. Okay, up to this reactive power and up to this active power. But what is apparent power? So this total, total is called apparent power. So active power plus reactive power. This total summation of this it is called apparent power. I think maybe this clear. Now no confusion about this active power, reactive power. And in our plant, our supply by this line. This is some line is single phase, some line is three phase. But industrial maximum using three phase. Okay. So three phase for the three phase. So now I will show you the calculation. How to calculate power? This GTG power how much? One motor this power how much? How do you calculate? So I will show you the rules. Just for this mega one. 
is used uh, by uh, resistive resistive uh, equipment. Correct. Mm -hmm. And the reactive power are necessary for uh, capacity Cap and reduction. Okay, correct. Yes. This is for this, this, this reactive power oh, possible okay. to positive and negative. Yes. But active power always positive. This is for resistive equipment or yes. resistive. Okay. So maybe you will electrical student? Yes. Sometimes, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yes, yes. So now I will be, I will give you the how to calculate power actually uh, this active power how much reactive power how much voltage how much current how much also and one car one motor if you go this motor side you see this only ampere uh, 200 but this is how much megawatt it is required how much current it is coming this calculation now I will give so in a single phase in a single phase single phase active power rules active power equal V I cos psi if it is single phase so today we are discussing about the three phase we will discuss because in our industrial maximum is three phase so single phase active power rows V I cos psi V means voltage, I means current, first time means power sector. Clear? Okay. But uh, we are discussing about this three phase. So in in a three phase, three phase, active power rules, active power equal root three B I cos psi. Clear? This is the main rules of three phase power. Okay? So active power means megawatt. That means megawatt equal root 3 vi cos psi. Clear? So normally in our plan, power factor 0 0.8586. We know everyone. But I will show you also how to calculate power factor which I will show you. And uh, voltage. 11 kb voltage uh, in our plant four types of voltage we are using 11 kb 5.5 kb and uh, 420 kb 220 kb so we are using total four types of voltage so now i will show you the example this 11 kb voltage after i will show you one example 5.5 kb also in the program so gtga mr mus you can see gtga current how much Voltage we know, power vector also we know, but current how much? GTGA, generator current? 820. Eh, GTGA, generator current 820. So, megawatt how much we can call, calculate from this here? So, root 3, root 3, root 3, voltage means 11 kb, and current means 820, and power factor means 0 0.85. We know the power factor 0 0.85 or 86. Okay? Root 3 multiply 11 multiply 820 multiply 0.85. That time, if, if I put power factor 0 0.86, that time coming 13,435. So, this is a megawatt. If you calculate by kilowatt, that time you can divide it by 1000. Because this rules normally in kilowatt condition. Okay. So that time coming 13.44 megawatt. So automatically if power increase, megawatt also increase. Increase. Same. Same. Okay, but if now, now only you can calculate by megawatt. But if you need, if you know this megawatt, but if you don't know current how much, so how you, will you calculate? Megawatt. You have megawatt. Okay. This is also. Okay, so you know this megawatt 13 point, how much? Okay, example we take this 17 point 7. So our rules, main rules, root 3 bi cos theta. Megawatt equal root 3 bi cos psi. Cos psi. So if I calculate, which one require current? Eh? You want to calculate current. So if I want to current, megawatt current this side so this megawatt top side and root 3 b 
Pause. Sorry. If you want to find out current how much, that time megawatt divided by root 3 d cos side because I already this time. So how much coming? Megawatt how much? Megawatt 17.7. 17.7 uh, root 3 voltage how much 11 and power factor cos sine means power factor 0.86 so how much coming 87 87 okay good 0.87 so how much coming root 3 multiply 11 multiply 0.87 so 16.6 okay Sixteen point six. Megawatt. Yes, yes, yes. Kilo to megawatt. Okay. So this is seventeen thousand seventeen thousand seven hundred divided by sixteen point six. So how much coming? Seventeen thousand seven hundred divided by sixteen point six. So one thousand sixty six. Yes, 1,066. 1,066. So this current coming 1,066. Clear or not? Yes. So this is 11 kb. If you calculate 11 kb like this. So if you calculate our EC, uh, CCW pump. CCW pump current how much? I will give one calculation. CCW chain 1. One motor, this motor current 240. But now I want to know this motor how much megawatt taking. Okay? So if you want to find out this megawatt to this rules, you know, root 3, B, I, cos, psi. Okay? So root 3, B. Voltage means this is 5.5 kb bus bus. So 5.5. Multiply 5.5 and the current 200. Current 240 and power factor 0 0.8586 around. Okay. So how much coming? Okay, Mr. Monsoon. Yes. Okay, this is W motor current 240. But how much megawatt taking? We don't know. So now we are calculating. This is coming from 5.5 kb bus bar. Yes. Okay. So this calculation, root 3 multiply 5.5 multiply 240 multiply 0.86. Around how much coming? 1,753. 1,753. So divided by 1,000. Okay? Because this goes normally kilowatt, but we are calculating megawatt. For that reason, 1,000 need to divided every time okay so 1.75 megawatt current now taking this ccw motor c clear yes see what happened okay see what happened how much in now 300 now okay see what happened 11 kb bus bar okay i root 3 multiply 11 multiply 300 309 multiply 0.86 so how much coming 5.06 megawatt so 5 megawatt coming you see water pump capacity 5 megawatt so by this system you can calculate all motors if you know this voltage and current from which bus bar this current coming if you know that time you can calculate all things correct yes so like this voltage also you can find out Okay, so from these rules, you can calculate current, voltage, megawatt. Okay, clear? Yes. Okay, so now, second one is apparent power. I told you before time, one power is apparent power. Apparent power, normally summation of actual power and this reactive power, it is called apparent power. So apparent power, identify MBA. ABA, MBA, 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 so MBA is equal, equal, active power identify megawatt and the reactive power identify mega, volt, ampere, 
read clear or not this is apparent power mba okay apparent power equal active power plus reactive power apparent apparent power also have one rules how do you calculate apparent power how much okay so this rule i am telling so this rules mba square megawatt square and this mega volt ampere square this is the rule so if you calculate this if this square coming this side it will go to the row uh, root megawatt square plus mega volt ampere reactive power square okay so now i will show you that gtg a megawatt how much 13.6 good so this root 13.6 13.6 square this is root eh 13.6 square plus 8 eh mega reactive power 8 8 square okay so how much coming 13.6 13.6 that means 184.9 184.9 plus 60 Four. So how much coming? Plus sixty-four. So two hundred forty-eight point nine six. Two hundred forty-eight point nine six. So if you wrote this, how much coming? Fifteen point seven. Around fifteen point eight megawatt. It is apparent power. This is not configured. In this is not here. Yes, not here available. Fifteen point eight megawatt. Clear or not? So, so this apparent power we find out 15.8, 15.8. You remember this? 15.8 megawatt. This is apparent power. Yes. Okay. Now, tell I want to find out the power factor. Okay. So now, how do you calculate power factor? Power factor actually ratio the actual power and apparent power. Understand? Now we want to find out the power sector. Power so power sector actually actual power. Actual power means active power. Active power and apparent power ratio. It is the power sector. So if I find out the power sector, the so power sector rules active power. Active power. Active power divided by apparent power. Okay, so active power, which is the A side, how much active power? Thirteen point six. Active power thirteen point six, and apparent power we find out fifteen point eight. Fifteen point eight. So how much coming you see? Thirteen point six divided by fifteen point eight. That means zero point eight six. You see this at zero point eight six. This power factor can calculation coming like that. Right? So zero point eight six. Clear? Yes. Okay. But I can use one uh, one diagram. One diagram. Diagram? Yes. It's very simple for understanding this. Active power like that. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. Yes, yes. ah, correct. Okay, okay. Like that. Yes. This is called active power. This is reactive power, and this is apparent, apparent power. power. Like that, yes. Okay, very good. I forget to show you because I show this simple <laughs> example for the reason I did not give this. Okay, so power factor zero point eight six coming by this calculation. Okay, but I now I want to identify this reactive power how much. Now I will calculate how. Do you calculation reactive power? So one by one, all we will give calculation. Eh? First time I I have given this calculation actual power. Now given this power factor. Now I will show you the reactive power. How will you calculate reactive power? You need mega volt ampere reactive. Correct. Reactive power. You need this one. Reactive power. Actually, which one reactive power? Apparent power minus, minus actual power from total power from this power 
that time coming this reactive power clear so reactive power equal to apparent power minus actual power clear so it is also like this goes square so m b a square this square will go to this side no. minus megawatt square okay so, so this apparent power how much we find out apparent power how much 15.8 for that is why I write this 15.8 right? square and 80 power 13.6 square 15.8 that means 249.6 minus 13.6 184.9 so that means how much coming 64.64.64 okay so if you wrote this how much coming 8 so you see the power the power this it is set 8 yes okay so by like this you can find out the which one reactive power also you can use uh, you can use uh, rule root 3 vi is same size 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 yes size also yes, possible yes, yes, yes. but i am trying to easy easy example okay. now remaining which one the frequency frequency. So frequency also you can calculate easily normally generator have pool normally in generator four pool frequency rule frequency equal pool divided by 2 multiply frequency equal pool divided by 2 money how many pools divided by 2 into generator speed divided by 60 why 60 because generator speed rotation per minute but frequency need to calculate per second per second how much rotation for generator speed rotation per minute for the reason if you divide it by 60 the generator minute. speed that time this second will become so normally in the generator four pool so four divided by two multiple generator speed how much generator speed Generator is speed 1500. So generator is 1500 divided by 60. So that means 00, 0 cancel. 2 to 150 multiplied to divided by 6. That means 50 coming. Okay, Yes, yes. 300 divided by 6, that means coming 50 hertz. This unit, frequency unit, hertz. Okay, in the electrical side, they are using some circuit breaker. There are different types of circuit breaker. ACB, some circuit breaker, BCB, some circuit breaker, UCB. So what is the meaning of this? ACB means? Okay. Air circuit breaker. This yeah. means vacuum circuit breaker. UCB means well circuit breaker. But why this circuit breaker they are using? Actually, okay. ACB means air circuit breaker. Air circuit breaker. Okay, this means vacuum. Vacuum circuit breaker. And OCB means oil circuit breaker. This circuit breaker, why they are using? Normally, if all light off, that time if you put this uh, switch button, that time you see some spark coming. In blind condition, if you put one uh, switch, that time you observe some spark coming, firing coming, some. Light, light, light. And some light coming. Maybe you remember one day try, okay? After all light stop, you try to click, some spark coming. So normally, this circuit breaker using 
if this is part more that can possible to damage the equipment for the reason they are protecting normally this circuit breaker using for protecting the arc this is called arc okay yes sir because the uh, fire coming if they are giving fire will diminish that time not uh, effect will happen correct like this big one if no air that time fire will not ignite yes without air fire will not ignite so oil also like that right? okay. and another also short from i will show you that directly this annunciator pen eh? short from short from some short from we are not identify which alarm coming this gtg panel sometime coming mh sometime coming mcc what is the meaning of mcc mcc meaning motor control center what of the what is the meaning of pmcc okay this i will show you the annunciator board okay okay so in our plan normally 4 gtg Per GTG capacity how much? Twenty-three megawatt. Twenty-three megawatt at forty-five degree centigrade temperature. Okay. So if this outside temperature around forty-five degree, that time GTG capacity GTG can produce current twenty-three point. And if temperature around 25 degree, that time GTG can produce current 29.2 mega. If more than 45, if more than reduce, if temperature more, this GTG power will coming less. So in our plant, the GTG, if plant ammonia and urea plant running and utility plant running, that time normally. as a full load time normally power required 66.8 mega normal power required 66.8 mega but which plant how much power required in our utility plant normally required 30 mega 30 mega but yes on the utility utility plant required power around 30 Megawatt, but three zero megawatt. Why it is using? In our plant have sea water pump. The sea water pump capacity five megawatt. So normally we are running four pump. So that means four multiply five twenty megawatt. We are using sea water pump consuming this twenty megawatt. And this CCW pump one pump one point eight megawatt. So total two pump need to running for. Uh, We yes. plan the running condition. So 3.6 megawatt. Yes. DUG compressor 0.7 0.7 megawatt. Ammonia transfer pump 0. around 4 megawatt. And instrument air compressor around 0.4 megawatt. Okay. Yeah. Demi pump. This is polish water pump. And this desalination. Yes, desalination. GTG side also need some power for equipment the running. Okay, this is mission to plant or to have some motor portable pump service water pump. So like this, our required 30 megawatt in our utility plant. So remaining 36 megawatt. Remaining 36 megawatt. We are trying to required for 10 one 14.3 megawatt, 14.3 megawatt. For denulation plant required 9.7 megawatt. And they are using ammonia pump and carbamate solution pump. So they are said required around 4.4 megawatt. So total around 14.3 megawatt required urea train one. So if you calculate 4.4, so total 14.1, 14.1 for one train only for one train. But in our plant two train. So if you multiply by two, that time coming 28.28.2 megawatt. So 28.2 megawatt power using urea plant. Clear or not? So around 28.2 megawatt power required urea plant. So ammonia plant how much power required? Ten, six. Ammonia plant for one train, one train required 4.3. So two train total 8.6. So total coming how much? 66.8. Because utility 30. Urea 28.2 and ammonia 8.6. How much coming? 30 plus 28.2 plus 8.6. Around coming 66. Point. 
एट मेगावट नाउ इट इज पावर यूजिंग सिक्सटी टू मेगावट यस बट वाई दिस लेस फूल मेगावट लेस पावर नाउ टेक इन बिकॉज साम मोटर एमोनिया सा प्लांट साम मोटर आर रिलेटेड उथ टर्बाइन इफ टर्बाइन रि रानिंग मोटर स्टैंड बाइक इफ टर्बाइन एनी हाउ टीप मोटर उल भी कपलिंग उथ दिस टर्बाइन ओके एंड इट इज स्टार्ट ऑफ टाइम दे आर नॉट रनिंग ऑल टर्बाइन इसी डब्ल्यू इसी डब्ल्यू इसी डब्ल्यू टर्बाइन ओके स्टार्ट ऑफ टाइम आल्सो दे आर नॉट रनिंग ऑल टर्बाइन दे आर रनिंग सम मोटर आफ्टर दे स्टार्ट द मोटर एंड स्टार्ट द टर्बाइन सो दिस इज 66.8 मेगावाट पावर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर दिस प्लांट नाउ इट इज ओनली यूजिंग 62 मेगावाट because of this is some motor now stop condition turbine running condition we have been uh, some yes some we start some uh, electric first electric yeah. one turbine and we start this uh, taking yeah. correct by, uh, correct very good very good thinking uh, i will tell you the if load shedding now i'll tell you i will discuss about the load shedding if load shedding coming so what will happen which equipment will stop load shedding load shedding will gtg 1 gtg trip if on gtg trip that time what will happen which equipment first time will be stop start start is no see what the pump see what the pump after okay if a, if a any gtg trip that time first time will stop the non plant load non plant side we are using around around point 8 megawatt power non plan non plan in lighting administration ha yeah, non plan this is the non plan no required for planting but not important yes not important for the reason first priority is any gtg trip for managing the load first time this non plan will be cut non plan will be cut non plan load around 0.8 megawatt if it is stable okay if not stable second priority which one urea granulation first priority non plant will be trip if load not adjust urea granulation train one will be trip train one around 9.7 megawatt this is around 0.8 megawatt okay so if still now not stable that time third priority urea granulation to trip 9.7 megawatt if it still now not stable that time food priority material handling will be stop material material handling so material handling around 2.3 megawatt the reclaimer the reclaimer that is offside motor this offside will be stop the conveyor okay so material handling will be stop this is food priority number 5 if it still not problem solved that time what will happen motor that time urea train one will be trip first time will trip on the urea granulation number 5 urea train one urea train one trip urea train one that side 4.4 megawatt and giving also calculation how much megawatt take it and number 6 number 6 urea train two will be trip 4.4 megawatt and number 7 ammonia very good number 7 Ammonia will be trip 4.3 megawatt. Ammonia train one number eight. Ammonia train two 4.3 megawatt. Number nine our sea water priority like this. Okay, number nine sea water 20 megawatt. Number ten utility system. Oh, managed by LMS. LMS managed by load management system. step by step it will be trip okay so if utility plant also see all black out that time it in our some equipment need to keep continue running like this gtg gtg need to turning condition okay and instrument air compression need to running otherwise correct some emergency because industrial not possible to totally black out some uh, some motor Uh, for circulation uh, some vessel yes so here okay i am telling uh, this uh, for circulation some chemical vessel for the tension power always required for the tension we are using this 
EDG. EDG means emergency diesel generator. So one EDG capacity three megawatt. So normally if total plant blackout, that time around more than three megawatt hour required. How it is required? This uh, need to running ECW motor. ECW motor 1.1 megawatt. After need to running BUG compressor if tank pressure increase. So BUG compressor 0.7 megawatt. And yeah, after need to instrument air compressor running 0.4 megawatt. And need to uh, ECT. ECT cooling water oh. fan only. Oh. Fan. Fan. So and need to portable system, uh, service water yeah, system. Ammonia side also some yeah. equipment need to run in. For that reason our required emergency power. So this emergency power we are taking from the EDG. In our plant total 3 EDG, 1 EDG capacity 3 megawatt, 3 EDG total 9 megawatt. If 2 EDG running, so that time we can uh, handling the plant. Because if instrument air compression not running, that time instrument air pressure will come down. If instrument air pressure come down less than 4 kg, that time all instrument bar will be possible to damage, not working after. So for that reason, emergency power is mostly required. So up to this clear, any confusion about this? Okay, so, okay, so, so I will show you the enunciator board for understanding short meaning because somebody are mistaking. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, this is gas turbine generator, emergency diesel generator, HSG. That means high switch gear. You can see BCB, become circuit breaker. High switch gear, become circuit breaker tip. That time this alarm will be show here. High switch gear system. Okay, this is medium switch gear, BCB tip. That time coming this alarm. Okay, medium switch gear, medium switch, PCC. PCC means power control center. If power control center utility side tip, that time alarm coming. Okay. This PCC, okay, PCC, okay. PCC ACB tip. If ammonia 10 to side, PCC, power control center, ACB means air circuit breaker tip, that time alarm coming here. So now see PMCC, power cam motor control center. Power cam motor control center, JT. JT gate area, if this uh, we trip that time alarm coming here. This is you know main substation. Main substation N O means normally open bus tie circuit breaker. Okay, if this normally open bus tie circuit breaker close that time oh, alarm coming here. So like this you can see this side MCC utility tip okay MCC you know motor control center main substation transformer fault that time also this alarm showing. Okay, shipping transformer. Okay, main substation AC bolt. UPS. UPS meaning uninterruptible power system. Okay, if uninterruptible power system tip, that time alarm coming here. ACC, uh, UPS. Material handling. If material handling, handle UPS uh, trip, that time alarm coming here. This is uh, main substation DC. DC voltage means direct current. Voltage two type. AC and DC. AC means alternative current, DC means direct current. Okay. Shipping. This is EPABX. What is the meaning of electronic private automatic branch exchange? Yes. That means this telephone or something problem. That time alarm coming here. CP system. This is CP means cathodic protection. This electrical side one protection have cathodic protection. If cathodic protection any fall, that time alarm coming. Here, okay. PS yeah, system means we have uh, many, many, uh, many, many alarm cameras. Uh, yes, yes, water in ammonia. So, yes, uh, correct. Cathodic, no, cathodic, uh, cathodic, cathodic, cathodic. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. This is PS system. PA means power amplifier system. If any problem, that time alarm coming here. Radio system, fire alarm system, H back system. H back means yes. heating, venting, air conditioning system. Any fault, any side alarm showing here. Okay, another thing remaining. New LCR main the room, uh, local control room, CCC uh, central control room. This is MH. MH means material handling. So motor control center, material handling, trip alarm coming. Okay. So if like that, that time need to contact electrical. And this is MCC. UG1 means urea granulation. UR1 means urea. So I hope uh, all uh, short meaning complete. Eh? Okay. Now coming this around the short time. This graphic. 
because this PC also very slow. So at this part. stage, I will show you. This is our small single line diagram. Okay. LMS load management system control room UPS 02. So we are using normally four types of power: 11 kb, 5.5 kb, 420 kb, and 220 kb. This is 11 kb bus bar. You see this color? This color 11 kb bus bar. This color 5.5 kb. That means medium switch gear. This is high switch gear. This is medium switch gear bus bar 5.5 kb. This is PCC power control center 420 kb. And this is also uh, 220 kb MCC. Okay, MCC utility. You see, so total four types of bus bar. Four. 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 Uh, One, two, three, four. 11, 11 5.5, 5, 5, 4, 4, uh, 420, 4, and 4, 220. 220. Ah, yes. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Total 4. Yeah. But if you know this, uh, what is called this? This is circuit breaker. This is circuit breaker. This is capacitor. Okay? Mm. And this is isolator generator. And new one. This is transformer. You see? High transformer. From this transformer, power will reduce. reduce yeah. high, high voltage to? From low voltage 11 to, 11 to 5.5 and this part transformer using to uh, 5.5 to 420 uh, okay like this transformer this is main substation this, this is sea water this is uh, material handling this is ammonia substation ammonia urea substation this is ammonia urea train to substation so this is the load management system single line diagram diagram so all synchronization power Go from this bus bar. If this side power less, no problem. From this bus bar, power will come, no problem. Okay? If you think this uh, GTZ A side only 13.6 megawatt, mm. but GTZ A side, how many equipment running need 20 megawatt? So, remaining power will become the from this main bus bar. The, the balance. The balance. balance. The balance, uh, how to. This is uh, managed by uh, this uh, LMS. LMS. So, uh, mm. For example, uh, we cannot put uh, four hmm. pump, seawater pump in one uh, bus. One bus because you see this side, this side one circuit breaker, okay? Hmm. This side one circuit breaker from this GTG one, this line coming from GTG one side, this up to this, this circuit breaker now off condition, hmm. okay? So if this side, if the, if this side powerless, so the, 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 this is connection no. also GTG two side. From this side it will be balanced. No. And at this side also see GTG one side where is going. This is one. You see one? One going on where? Ammonia train one, train urea train one substation. This bus bar going from GTG side, some power. Mm -hmm. hmm, like this all are given. Okay, now I'll show you the uh, this uh, this is uh, only page I will have uh, brief, okay? okay? Full brief not possible. So before time I uh, show you the, this active power, reactive power, frequency, power factor, generator current, generator voltage, all I uh, given calculation, okay? I will only show you the, the GTG one, all page only, page uh, familiarity, same, same, yes. uh, page familiarity I will show you. So this is motor page everyone will know. This is ventilation, this ventilation page, this is accessory compartment, okay? From a air, the first time going this compartment, by the, it is called compressor. By this compressor, I will go to the by turbine. After, we will go to the gas compartment. And gas compartment, gas will also entry. And the combustion will start. And firing will be start. And after firing, this exhaust gas will go to the HRG unit. But this side also some trip have. So, if possible, I will show you the after. Because if exhaust 500, alarm coming, 550 GTG will be fire shut down. This is the bearing fan, okay. Uh, generator. Okay, this is a generator for cooling purpose. We are using JFC, a generator cooling air fan. This air coming from by this line and after it will go out, atmosphere. 25 degrees centigrade, centigrade temperature entry and after uh, come out, 49 degrees centigrade okay. temperature. Okay. Lubel system also know. Uh, this is Lubel system. Uh, this is a direct air cooling fan. Direct air cooling fan using for to controlling the Lubel temperature. Lubel temperature 80 degree, that time GTG will be tipped. For that reason, this is controlling around 59, 60 degree temperature by this cooler. Okay. After it will go to the hydraulic dump bulb. Okay. This is go to the dump bulb and this line pump, go to the pump. hydraulic turbine. Hydraulic turbine inlet pressure 1.8 kg, outlet pressure around 100 kg. And this is a mist oil separator fan. Okay. This is also this gas line. This gas coming by this line. This is BCB, 
हुईच नर्माल रानिंग कंडिशन फिफ्टी टू एफ फिफ्टी टू आर फिफ्टी टू जी एट्टी नाइन जी मार्शन एंड एनी ओन जी टी जी नीड टू रानिंग आर्थिंग सो जी टी जी थ्री ना आर्थिंग ऑल्सो क्लोज कंडिशन ओनली ओन जी टी जी नीड टू क्लोज दिस ओके दिस इज एक्सेप्टर पेज दिस इज आई जी बी ओके आई एम गिविंग दिस इज कॉल कैंकिंग मोटर जिट इज टर्निंग गियर ओके एंड दिस इज टॉर्क कन्वर्टर बाल्ब दिस इज जेनारेटर ओके दिस इज ए कम्प्रेसर आउटलेट टेम्पर प्रेसर आउटलेट टेम्परेचर दिस इज आई जी बी एंड दिस इज ब्लिट बाल्ब ब्लिट बाल्ब ओके दिस इज एन जी बाल्ब एवरी वन नोज अबाउट दिस ओके नॉर्मली दिस इज द सिस्टम यू कैन सी फ्रॉम हियर हाउ हुईच इक्विपमेंट आर रानिंग कंडिशन दिस इज क्यू एम मेन लूब ऑयल पम्प टू रानिंग कंडिशन हाइड्रोलिक पम्प टू रानिंग कंडिशन मिस टूल सेपरेटर वन रानिंग कंडिशन बेकुअम टारबाइन कम्पार्टमेंट बैंड फैन टू रानिंग कंडिशन नम्बर वन बेयरिंग कुलिंग फैन टू रानिंग कंडिशन इनलेट एयर फिल्टर रानिंग कंडिशन जे एफ सी थ्री एंड जे एफ सी वन रानिंग कंडिशन डेक टू डेक थ्री रानिंग कंडिशन यू कैन सी फ्रम दिस इयर ओनली स्टप नाउ जे ओ पी जोकि ओल पाम जोकि ओल पाम स्टप टर्निंग गियर मोटर स्टप एंड कैंकिंग मोटर स्टप कंडिशन ब्लिट बल्ब ऑल्सो क्लोज कंडिशन फ्रम इयर वाटर वाशिंग वाटर वाशिंग अब वाटर वाशिंग आई विल गिव अनदर डे लेक्चर बिकॉज दिस इज ऑल्सो नीड अराउंड ट्वेंटी मिनट यस बिकॉज इफ आई गिव शॉर्ट लेक्चर मे बी सम पीपल विल नॉट अंडरस्टैंड ओके सो दिस इज द नॉर्मली सिस्टम एनी क्वेश्चन अबाउट दिस जीटीजी प्रफति It may be one year. Okay. <laughs> one year, one day, one day it is not possible. Only today I only. Thank you very much. Only I have given today only yeah. short briefing for a basic. She's not important also. Drop and. Uh, Drop or nice. Okay, correct. Very good. Uh, question. In our plan, total four GTG. But by this four GTG, only one GTG we are keeping this ISO mode. Which one is ISO mode? Maximum power we taken from this ISO mode, and if uh, any power losses, this uh, ISO mode will be controlled. But ISO mode. Power suddenly they can manage. As drop mode, power will manage slowly, slowly. For that reason, any of these things you need to keep ISO mode. Uh, ISO and drop mode depend on uh, frequency. Frequency, yes. When you put one ISO mode, frequency when will be less than zero point zero two. Mm. Take. Correct. Take action. Zero point zero two. Yeah, correct. Take action. And drop mode zero point two. So Now frequency is fifty. Mm -hmm. So when it will be decreasing up to fifty nine point eight, this ISO mode will take uh, immediately action. Zero zero point two ISO mode. Huh? Drop mode. Okay. Uh, mm. Point two 